you could always count on him. He was the most trustworthy guy I've ever known. He was, he was hands down, without a doubt, the best guy I've ever known, the best friend I've ever had. For conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity in action and connection with combat operations against the enemy, as friendly reinforcements maneuvered south, the rear element was pinned down while crossing a danger area. Realizing his teammates' lives were in, in jeopardy and with total disregard for his own safety, he scaled a rock wall and began to engage the enemy with his squad automatic weapon, allowing his teammates to maneuver to safety. As he continued suppression and attempted to return back over the wall, Sergeant Wardowitz received a fatal shot to the abdomen from enemy fire. His actions under fire proved to be the deciding factor that ultimately led the assault force to repel the enemy attack. Anybody who can stare down death like he did on a consistent basis, but no, I mean, he knew it was definitely those guys are gonna die, my friends are gonna die, or I'm probably gonna die for them and they'll live. Anybody who can make that conscious decision and, uh, you know, give up their life is, you know, a great man in my opinion. He was always laughing, always happy to be around. He was, but let me tell you what, when you were in a fight, you didn't want anybody else on, like, next to your side except for that guy, because he was, he was a warrior straight up, so he would get it done in a hurry. One time when Bill was home on leave, it was winter time. He was only home for, I mean, Marines don't get a lot of leave, it seems, to begin with. And when they do come home, they're always distracted. They're with their friends. They're, they're out. They're cramming as much as they can. And it had snowed either the first or second morning he was in. And I had put the plow on my truck. I get out there, 5 o'clock in the morning. Bill's already up. I get out there. I got a flat tire on the truck. What am I? Ah, I'm not going to change a tire in the middle of a snowstorm. So I said, Bill, will you just give me a ride to work? I'll take care of it when I get home. All flustered. He brings me to work, drops me off, <clears throat> picks me up in the afternoon. I come back. Not only had he taken the tire off the truck, got it fixed, put it back on, and then went and plowed the driveway. So we, you know, elderly neighbors, those not familiar with exactly and nervous about doing it, but got it all done. So, so a day that was a disaster in the morning, I come home. And I can put my feet up because Bill took, took care of, he was that kind of what can I do guy. And, and, as, and as I just said earlier, when, when he got to Afghanistan, <coughs> that very trait came across immediately to those guys, that he looked for what needed to be done. How can I help? What can I do? And he seemed to enjoy being useful in that way and doing what he could do to help people.